everyone! I am really excited about today's video because I got this in the mail yesterday. This is the Mini and Natasha Denona Tropic Palette. Now, fun little backstory, but I actually ended up buying the large palette last year when it came out. And I ended up returning it because I didn't like it. And here I am hoping that this is going to be different. So, <laughs> I mean, we're going to find out. Hopefully, maybe the formula is a little bit different this time. I will say last time when I did buy that palette, I wasn't as good at makeup as I am now. So I feel like my application techniques and such have changed. And so maybe I will like this formula a little bit better this time. I'm not really sure, but we're going to find out. So here's what the palette looks like. It's obviously tiny. If you haven't seen any of these Natasha Denona palettes, I mean, a shade is basically the size of my finger. So it's very, very, very small. I haven't touched this palette, so I do want to go ahead and just very quickly swatch this. So I'm basically just going to dig my fingers into this and we're not going to drag this out any longer. I will say so far that the mattes feel or the shimmers, I mean, feel very dry when I put my fingers into them, which is kind of the, yeah, I mean, that shade did not swatch very well, which was the middle one here. So let me build this up a little bit. And also this one didn't swatch very well. That's actually kind of weird. That's almost more like a cream, it feels like. It almost feels like a creamy satin shade, which is not my favorite at all. And uh, that's supposed to be a shimmer, which it doesn't really look like much of a shimmer to me. But okay, let's go ahead and swatch the last one now, which is the kind of purple. And that basically did not swatch. So, so far we're not off to the best start. But I mean, swatches don't mean everything. So I am obviously going to put these on my eyes and hopefully they'll perform a little bit better. But looking at the swatches, I am not impressed at all by any of them, except for this one really. And none of the other ones, like these two are supposed to be shimmers, at least they look like it in the palette, but on my hand here, it really just looks like kind of creamy satin shades, which not the biggest fan of, but I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre like I always do. And I am gonna go ahead and use all of these shades on my eyes today, and I kind of have a plan already for what I want to do, but that plan might have to change a little bit because I was expecting those shimmers to be more impactful, so maybe I'm gonna have to even use some of those shimmers as mattes. We're gonna have to just wait and see. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the blue in my crease and then probably deepen it up with the blue that's supposed to be a shimmer that felt more like a satin, so maybe that's what I'll do. Also, I think this is the first video I'm going to be posting with my hair color in this color. I filmed so many videos already and I never know what to say in them, but if this is the first time you're seeing my new hair color, hi, my hair is now like purple and I really like it. <laughs> okay, so the eyes are primed and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into, it's weird because in the pan, like these two blues look so different, but on my hand, they're really not that different at all. So I'm a little bit confused right now. And also that green, didn't really swatch like a shimmer, so, so far, definitely a chance that I'll be returning this palette, but we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the uh, layers of the blue shadows here, and I'm just gonna use a very small Luxie blending brush, and it, there's a little bit of kick up in this, but not a whole lot. I'm just going to pack this into my crease, and honestly, that color shows up so much nicer on my eye than it did in the swatch on my hand, so that's always a nice surprise. I do find that a lot of the time, mattes that don't swatch the best still apply really nicely on the eyes, but I'm surprised it applied so dark on my hand when I swatched it and so much lighter on my eye. I feel like they're very different. Is it just me? This is the shade that I have in my crease right now, and I feel like that's looking a lot more dark on my hand, but... Oh well, I mean, that's a good thing. Like I said, I feel like this shadow right here is applying beautifully. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the purple matte on my lower lash line because I do want to try that shade out as well. And then I'll just do the other three shimmers on my lid. I mean, I feel like it's a pretty obvious look when trying to use all of these shadows, but that's okay. I just want to see how they perform. And I mean, so far that was super easy and I didn't have any issues putting the shadow on at all. So I think what I want to do is I'm going to go into this blue shimmer right here. And I think I'm going to use a bit of a fluffy brush because I don't know if I'll be able to pick it up on like a flat brush. And since I am going to be using it, Kind of in my crease, I do want to have a bit of a fluffy brush to work with this on. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, try to put it on my eyes, which... <sighs> Let's try that again. It definitely seems like the kind of shade that you really need to build up. And I am really digging my brush into this shadow and it's not really showing up or applying to my eyes. 
Uh, this definitely seems like a finger kind of shade, so I guess I'm gonna try that, even though I hate applying anything with my finger, and even that is just not really doing it, I mean. It's almost like this is getting hard pan already as well. I don't know how well you're able to see that, but it's almost like it's creating a little bit of hard pan here, which I'm not loving that, and I don't know... Maybe I'll try spraying this and see if that helps. And like, when I say I'm digging, like, I am really digging here, and you don't see any fallout or anything, so I feel like this is probably one of her, like, cream formulas. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good spray here with some Fix Plus. And then we're gonna go ahead and try to put this on my eye again, which... Okay, so it is applying better, but I definitely don't think that this is an easy shadow to work with, and it's not a shadow that I would ever reach for, because this is way too much work for a shadow that just looks very mediocre on the eye, in my opinion. It is blending okay, though, once you're able to get it onto your eye, but, I mean, that's kind of a struggle, so... Yeah, I don't know. And I want you to see how heavily I am dipping into this palette. So basically, here is what I am doing with my brush. I am being so heavy-handed with this, and it's really not picking up much at all. It looks like I have stuff on my brush, but it just doesn't really want to come off on my eye when I'm doing this. So you see now when I go in with this, it's just very lackluster compared to the amount of pigment that I actually put on my brush. It's almost like it just doesn't want to come off at all, and the only way that I was able to do this was really dig my brush into it and then spraying it and then putting it on my eye, but the thing is when you spray it, it makes it harder to blend it into your crease because it's wet and it's also looking a little bit patchy right here. I'm gonna go back in again with that first blue that I used and just make sure that everything is looking blended here in the outer corner. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I like how this is looking, but it's taken way more effort to get this to look the way that I wanted to, and I could have just used, like, you know what, I'm just gonna pull out the palette that I was just using, and this is the Menagerie Cosmetics Fall Song palette. So I really could have just used this palette right here, and I could have created the exact same gradient using these two colors here, or these two colors, and it would have taken me literally a minute, and this probably took me five minutes. So if this is just not worth the time for me, honestly. But I am, of course, going to finish up the rest of the look because I want to test out all of these shadows. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go into the green here and I'm going to see if this is the same kind of formula. And if it is, I'm not going to be happy. So I'm going to go in again with a bit of a fluffy brush here and this is picking up a little bit better. This seems to have more pigment on the brush and it's also a little bit uh, less tightly packed. So we're going to go ahead and try this without spraying it first. And see, like, that actually went on my eye so much better and so much easier. And I'm just going to kind of mix this into the blue that I have on the outer part of my eye here. And I didn't even spray this, so obviously this one is a lot better than the first blue that I used in the outer corner here. Um, I don't hate this shadow, I think this is actually quite nice. I'm going to go ahead and spray it and just see if there is a difference here. Uh, I'd say there's a little bit of difference, but honestly really not that much. Definitely a lower lash line. I'm gonna go into the purple shade here. I have a feeling I should probably put down some eyeshadow primer before I try this, but I'm gonna try it first without doing that and see if it does stick to my eye and if it does show up. Okay, so that's really not that bad. I think I can definitely use this without putting down an eyeshadow primer. Like, I like the mattes in this palette so far. It's just the shimmers. I'm just a little bit, like, confused. Like, what are you trying to be? <laughs> So now that I had a lower lash line done, I'm gonna go into the last shadow that we have not used, and it's the shimmery kind of green-blue shade. So this one right here, this one looks really nice and reflective, and this is what I wish that these two shadows were too. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in the inner part of my lid here, and I'm also going to layer it slightly above that green, just to get a good gradient going here. So I definitely don't feel like this is as intense as I expected it to be. It does seem to build up pretty nicely though. I'm also just going to wrap this around to my lower lash line just slightly here. So I mean, I like the look. I don't mind the end result of this. It's just, it was a struggle to get here and I am just not willing to work that hard with my shadows when I have other palettes that I could do the same look with in probably two minutes. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my eyes here, put on some liner, lipstick, all that stuff. I'll be back and I will tell you my final thoughts on this palette, even though I'm sure that's not going to be a surprise. Okay, so here is a completed look, and for my eyeliner, I used the LA Girl Neon Shockwave Eyeliner in the shade Vivid, which is a beautiful purple. And then for my lips, I'm using the Han Skincare Cosmetics All Natural Lip Gloss in the shade Raspberry Chardonnay. Pretty sure I got this in BoxyCharm last year, and I really, really like this. Now let's talk about this palette. I'll just go through the shades. I'm sure you all already know what I feel about this palette, so... Basically, I will say that the purple feels like it's almost wearing off and it's not sticking to my lower lash line and it's looking kind of patchy now. So I don't like that, but I definitely could have gone in with an eyeshadow primer on my lower lash line, which to be fair, sometimes with pastels and shades like this, I will do that. So I'm not going to say I hate this shadow. It's just the nature of this kind of color. It just works better when it, you put it down on something sticky. So that's partly my fault. This purple here sucks balls, I'm sorry, but that is awful. I don't know what that is doing in this palette. I don't know what the intention of this shadow was. If it was like a true satin, I would understand, but I mean, I, I can't get this out of the pan, no matter what I do. It's so hard to work with. It's so tightly pressed. It's already got pretty much hard pan, and I just, I hate that shadow, honestly. That's so bad. Uh, the light blue, I really like. I thought that was beautiful. I thought that went on really nicely. It was super easy to build up, very nice and opaque, very pigmented. Just a great shadow overall. Um, the green was so-so. I mean, it was it was what I wished the blue was, if that makes sense. After swatching it, it's kind of what I expected the blue shadow to be, but it's not. It's very different, and I thought it was okay. It's not my favorite. I just, I prefer my shimmers to be actual shimmers, not just like a shimmer, matte, hybrid, satin kind of shade. I just don't like those. As for this one, I thought this one was okay. I was expecting a little bit more from the swatch. I thought it swatched a lot better than the, it applied on the eyes and it took a while to build up. But I think the formula is nice. It didn't have any kick up or fallout or anything like that. And really neither of these shades did, except for the blue matte. This one had a little bit of kick up in a pan, but I mean, I have no shadow on my face, which is always nice. That's always a plus. But overall, I would not recommend this palette. I feel like if you're gonna pay $5 for each of these shades individually, um, they're just not worth it. So there's 0.8 grams in each shadow, which is not a lot of shadow, and so paying $5 for each is just, to me, I don't think this palette is worth it. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you have this palette? Do you plan on getting this palette? I would definitely say don't get it, and I think I should have known better buying this when I ended up returning the large version of the Tropic palette. I don't know why I thought that the formula would be different, but that's basically the same thoughts that I had on the large palette, so I don't like this palette at all. I'm sorry, I think it's kind of shit. So that's going to be my review on the Natasha Denona Mini Tropic palette. If you want to see some more positive reviews, I'll pop some up on the screen for you so you can go check those out. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.